Ahoy mateys! So today I wanted to kind of embody the look of a pirate in honor of Laroque's launch of their Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales collaboration collection. So today I'm going to be doing a look using the Laroque Pirates shadow palette, their cheek palette, and their lip duos. So if you'd like to see how I got this look with the Laroque Pirates collection, just keep watching. Arr, walk the plank, matey. So we're going to start with the Laroque Pirates of the Caribbean Lipstick Duo. And this one is in the shade Barbasi. And it has a lipstick on one end. It's like a brownish nude. And it has a gloss on the other. So I'm going to put this on first to see how well it wears during the entire video. All right, this is the Barbasi lipstick. Okay, so it's a nice, I would say it's an almost brown color. <clears throat> and then let's try the lip gloss. So they actually come with a mirror on the lip gloss, which is nice. So that's pretty and no strange flavors or odors or fragrances so so that's a plus next we will move on to face and Lorac came out with a cheek palette this is what the box looks like it has the skull on the front and it has like a constellation and a um, like an asteroid on the front and it has your blush and your highlight palette and the little insert actually has the different phases of the moon on it which I think is really cute and it looks like you get a bronzy shade, a blush shade, and four highlight shades so I'm going to use some of the bronze even though I'm already a little bit bronze I'm gonna see how this comes across As with all of Lorac's products, they are very pigmented, they pick up very easily, they're very, very soft. So I think that I am going to do a combination of all three of these highlights. I'm going to do the bronzy one lowest, then the gold one, and then the white one just on the peaks of my cheekbones, and we will see how that works. I don't know if I'm tan enough for this rosy one just yet, but summer is coming. That's pretty intense just by itself, and that is destined. Pretty. Next we'll do the gold. Not that I needed the gold. And then the White Witch's Fortune. Pretty. I'll do the white on my Cupid's Bow. A very pretty highlight. It is not glittery. It's like a nice sheen. The formula is really nice. So I really enjoy this palette so far. And next comes the Shadow Palette 
which looks like this. It looks like a compass. And inside, you get the shadows, and you get a black Lorac eyeliner, which is quite nice. And one thing that I recently learned about this is that there is a side compartment that opens up where you can place your cheek palette so you can keep the whole collection together, well, the whole face collection together. Isn't that convenient? So instead of worrying about packing two things, they combine into one. Now, if they had created a spot to put the lip gloss as well, I would be even more impressed, but still, this is pretty cool because, you know, hidden treasure, hidden things within the palette. I think that's a really, really cute concept. So I am going to hop off, do one eye, and come back to show you how I did it. Okay, so one eye is done. Now it's time to do the other. So the first thing that I did was take Matey. This color right here. And I dusted it all over my lids and brow bone area. Then I went in with a blending brush into Bones, which is the color right next to it, right here. And I buffed that into my crease area. Next, I took Pirate's Chest, right here. And again, putting it a little bit more in the crease. Then going in with a, this is a concealer brush, but it's like a flat shader brush. I'm going to take Black Pearl, which is this duochrome shade right here. How do I do this without blinding you? This shade right here, and I'm gonna take it on the outer half only. and it works best wet, so I'm gonna wet my brush. These shadows can be used wet or dry, which I love. And then taking a tapered blending brush, I'm going into the dark green color called Menace, and I'm just going to work that on the outer corner and up into the crease. And then I think I moved a little bit of the product, so I'm going to go back in with Black Pearl and just make sure that it's all the way up into the crease. Then taking a different, uh, this is a short shader brush, dampened. I'm going into Compass, which is this really pretty warm gold shade right here. And I'm putting that on the inner portion of my lid. Then going back in with what's left on my black pearl brush, I'm just going to blend the two together in the center. There we go. Looks seamless. Then taking a, this is actually a lip brush, but a pencil brush would work. I'm going to dampen that. And then I'm going to go in with Treasure, which is this kind of warm coppery shade here. I'm going to put that along my lower lash line. and then with a little bit of black pearl, just to tie everything together on the top and the bottom. 
Then using the black liner that came in the palette, I'm going to just line my upper lash line, and these are nice because they're mechanical. And then my lower lash line, my lower waterline. I am going to curl my lashes and apply some voluminous black, voluminous carbon black mascara, and then I'll apply some falsies and I'll be right back. So here is the finished look using the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.